Today I'll be working on block four of the 2022 Riley Blake Designs block challenge. This block is called Tulip and it was designed by Jill Finley. And if you want to make one of your own, I'll leave a link to the pattern in my description box below. Okay, this block looks complicated and it has a lot of pieces, I mean like a ton of pieces, but I think, um, or actually I hope that it's going to work up pretty quickly. I have just a couple notes before I get started. Um, first, I drew diagonal lines on the backs of B, D, H, J, and M. And then secondly, um, I noticed that we're making four flying geese units in this block, so I thought it might be a good opportunity to practice the four at a time, no waste um, flying geese units. So I cut my B pieces and my K um, to different measurements so that I can try out that uh, technique. In order to figure out the measurements that I needed for those blocks, I used this handy dandy little um, flyer and it's from Art Gallery Fabrics and I'll leave a link to this. They call it a quilter's cheat sheet and they have them for a few different techniques and they're very helpful. They give you um, exact sizes to cut out or you can use this formula they have there. So very useful and I'll link it down in the description below. I think I'm going to start out with my corner tulip units. So I'll get my C and my J. Is that my J? Yes. So for these units we're going to make mirrored copies. So I'm going to have two that go up and to the right and I'm going to have two that go down to the right. And I'm going to do the same thing with my D and I piece. So two that go up to the right and two that go down to the right. And if you've seen a few of my videos by now, you'll know that I like to use a glue stick instead of pins. So I'm going to put my glue right into this excess corner, just a tiny bit. And it's just going to hold the fabric in place while I set it aside and then later on when I take it to the um, sewing machine. So not much, just a little bit, just to tack it down. It doesn't need to last forever. Next up, I'm going to do my side tulips. So I need my A's and four of my M's. Our first step with these pieces is to just do one corner for each of the A blocks. So you'll have four units that look like this. Then I'm going to take my K block and two of my B blocks and I'm going to um, actually do two. So they're going to go on opposite corners and this middle line should line up. And when I take it to the machine, I'm going to sew a quarter inch on both sides of this line and then I'll cut it in half. And remember, if this looks weird to you, it's because I'm doing it differently. I'm doing the four at a time, no waste flying geese. And finally, I'm going to use my EH pieces to make some half square triangles. I'm going to match them up right sides together. And then I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch away from this line on both sides. Don't forget to square up your half square triangle. I think they're purposely designed big so that you can um, trim them and you get the exact perfect size that the pattern needs. I'm using this ruler and it is so helpful. I love this ruler. It's a little slippery, but very useful. I've got my JC units and my DI units and the, um, the units that have the seam going up to the right are gonna stay together and the units with the um, seam going down and to the right are gonna stay together. And I will also be using the F squares and these L rectangles. I'm going to start by laying these out to get a feel of um, what they're going to look like and to make sure I don't make any mistakes. So this unit will be for my upper left um, corner and my lower right corner. Then I'm going to make my mirrored unit to go in the upper right and the lower left. So it should look something like this. And I'll sew along these seams. 
These are my MA units and my BK units. And to finish off this little guy, I'm going to add the rest of the M's to the next corner. And these are looking pretty weird, but they're doing good and they're going to get their last piece too. So the last two B blocks are going to be placed right here so that the line is going right through the middle and I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch on both sides of this center line. For the pinwheel center it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to sew these together. And now I have a nice tidy stack of pieces to take to my machine and sew together. Each of my corner tulips just have one more seam and then the corner tulips will be done. One more seam for my side tulips too. So I've got my flying geese units and these little, I don't know, arrows, and they're just going to get connected like that. And it's the last seam for my pinwheel too. My corner tulips are done, my side tulips are done, and my pinwheel is done. But there's one more step I have to do before I can put it all together. Luckily, it's a super quick and easy one. I just need to take two of my side tulips and combine them with the G pieces that are left. And then I'll just sew along these sides and I'll be ready to put it all together. And it's finally time to put it all together. And like always, let's skip ahead to the final block. Honestly, block four is not my favorite and it's entirely my fault. So I'm not 100% happy with my color choice. I mean, it's not terrible, it's just not my favorite. And on top of that, my iron stained my block during the last press. Why? Why? So frustrating. But the block design was fun, it was interesting, and I'd definitely do it again, just with different fabric and a very, very clean iron. <laughs> anyway, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you again real soon.